Hey there, everybody. This is Jared Alwick, the yard sale artist here with another episode of I Finished It, made exclusively for our Patreon supporters. We really appreciate you Crusaders Club members so much. And now it's time to do another I Finished It. And I read an actual book again. I'll give you a minute to soak that in. I read The Lost World by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Yes, the same guy who wrote the Sherlock Holmes series. Uh, I decided maybe it was time I should read some Doyle. Um, that wasn't Sherlock Holmes. I've read all the Sherlock Holmes works, and then I realized I've read nothing else of his. So I read this Professor Challenger book. He's one of the main characters in here. And uh, you know what? Excellent. Fun little read. About 250 pages. As you can see, this, this version, I want to say it's from the 90s. I want to say they kind of capitalized on the Lost World coming out uh, on the big screen. Uh, and I'm not seeing the stamp in here, but I get that feeling. This is from the about 1992, 93, like Jurassic Park era. So anyways, I, I think there was a revival. I love the, I love the little, this is not a sticker. It's actually printed on here. It says two for a dollar. So back in the early nineties, there was these classic paperback novels. You could pick up two for a buck at Walmart. And that's, that's pretty good. That's about what you pay for these things in a Goodwill or a Christian mission these days. So anyway. Lost World. It was a good read, a fun read. You know, Arthur, try that again. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle is writing these right around 1900. And while some of the writing has that feel, it still wasn't difficult. It was still a good read. It was a fun read, much like Sherlock Holmes. Just a, a different flavor. You know, it's basically this guy had come back from South America. Professor Challenger had, and he had found some evidence, seen some evidence of actual dinosaur life still being around on this vaulted plateau in South America. And he brought that back to England and he told people and nobody believed him. So the book is about his second expedition where he brings a newspaper man who is the narrator of the story, much like Watson is the narrator for the home stories. Uh, you have the newspaper man who is the narrator for this story. And so he brings a newspaper man, an adventurer, and his biggest scientific skeptic with him on a return trip. And it's all about their adventures, getting there uh, to the plateau, getting on the plateau. And then uh, there's much more there uh, than just dinosaurs, actually. There's quite, uh, quite a lot of adventure to be had. So uh, I'm excited to have finished it. I have the silent film they made based off of it, which came out in, I think, 1925, I want to say. I have the um, version and that's from the early 90s. It stars John Reese davies as Professor Challenger. I held off on watching either one. I wanted to read the book first and then watch the film. So now I'm excited to check out the films. Maybe I'll do another I finished it based around those. Um, the, a lot of people say the best one is the version that came out in the 60s. Um, I don't have that one, so I'll have to get back to you on that. But Lost World, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle is a good read. Um, you know, it kind of makes you, it's one of those reads that kind of makes you feel smart because you're like, oh, I'm reading an old piece of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle literature, but it's really just a really, really, really fun tale. Don't let the title fool you. It doesn't have anything to do with the, with the Jurassic Park movie that Michael Crichton basically sequel. Uh, this is, uh, this is its own thing. So anyway, Lost World can't go wrong. Um, uh, most of the time I believe you can find this free in a lot of audio books and stuff. Um, the um, the copyright is out. I think it's in public domain is what I'm trying to say, like Sherlock Holmes is. So I think you can probably find an audio book of that for free or a Kindle version for free. Uh, and I, I'd say it's worth your time. You know, 250 pages. Yeah, I read a chapter every night. It took me about, I don't know, two weeks. Good book. Fun read. Highly recommend. Thanks again for being Crusaders Club members. For those of you who are seeing this initially. Uh, if you're seeing this publicly on YouTube, then it's been months and months and months and months and months since I recorded this. If you want to get in on the early access to this kind of stuff, it's only a buck a month. Patreon.com slash Longbox Crusade. For those of you already doing it, thanks again. And I'll catch you around on another I Finished It. I'm Mac Froze.